Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy Blind and Hard Difficulty playthrough. Also, if you'd like to check out my bias plates in, uh, on Patreon, take a look link down below. Thank you. Let's continue following the butterflies. There's somewhere around here. Revelio. This isn't the way to go. Ooh, I have mail. You have received mail. <laughs> Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please come and uh, complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire maxima and endurance potion. Use them simultaneously. Ooh, go to flying class? Cool. That's my next main quest, looks like. Didn't even know. Follow the spiders. I don't see any. Revelio. Caution, centaurs. Box sold here. Forbidden forest. <laughs> Meadow. Whoever put this here is not funny. Happy Ranger somewhere. Well, I don't see the butterflies by getting some ingredients at the very least. Okay, maybe I need to change the time. Where are these butterflies? Oh, you know what? Maybe I need to use... Mm, you know what? Maybe I should get the next spell slot. It'll save me a lot of time opening up that thing. Oh, I did it. Let's see here. Lumos. Repairo. Get it. My character isn't mentioning that there's 
amazing here either. Okay, maybe I have to wait again. Okay, I'll try one more thing, and that is to teleport. You know, I was right next to that teleport, it still took a little bit. making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. Oh, the butterflies. Oh, that worked. Ha. Wait for me, butterflies. What we have here. Sweet. I got a tree. Okay, oh. let's go. Back. Tell her what we found. There she's in here. Revelio. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Yes. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Yes, and I was well rewarded. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Oh, and she even gave me some uh, flower pot. Cool. Okay, I think that's everything in that area. Let us continue the main quest, Flying Glass. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Oh, oops. Oh, they got cool, uh, kites. Nice. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, uh. your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. 
Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Alright. Sounds Up. easy enough. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, Up. you stupid ratty school broom. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Hmm. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Ooh, okay, uh, I'm staying around. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I think I'm getting the hang of this. Excellent. This will take some getting used to. Okay. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I'm not ready. <laughs> well, wait a second. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Of you. How do we go down? Hello! Nice day for a flight! This is rather fun! Oh. Going down? Do that one. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> See, isn't too bad. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Uh, uh, we'll both get in trouble, right? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. Okay. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oops. You can't enter there while mounted. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <sighs> How 
is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh, burst of speed. <laughs> now that's more like it. Uh uh. You sure you're not part hippogriff? <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Okay, that's just the whistle. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Oh. Control. Hold B. Oh. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Hmm. No, I don't have much of Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. I wish we hadn't gotten in trouble. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble and Kugawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right. Greetings. I have uncollected stuff. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spint, which is, I'd be on it now. Spint, which is open in Hogsmeade. All the latest brooms I hear. Not that I need one. The broom I have at home is the latest. I think we'll be against the in the dormitory. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I wish I could afford my own broom. Instead of using my brother's hand me downs. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been. Corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Oh, well, that's annoying. I was trying to listen to what they were saying, and the post interrupted everything that I was trying to hear from them. It's not gonna do it again, is it? Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Hufflepuff should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Okay. I sent a love letter to Imelda Rays once. But I think she thought I was making fun of her because she's been rude to me ever since. 
When I said she was outspoken, I meant it as a compliment. I don't think... There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. Revelio. Okay, let's look at the map. Let's work on some side quests if there are any. Hogs me by chance? Yeah. But there is. A demanding delivery. Alright. What about... Before I check that, how much money do I have? Ah, I really don't have a lot. It's probably going to cost a lot for a broomstick. I suppose we could check it out though. Okay, where is the shop? Is it this one here? Revelio. Ollivander's wand shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all matter of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores, choose their owners in their cozy, crowded shop, run by the liable and knowledgeable Gorbel Oliver Ollivander in the profession of wand craft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Astonishing, really. Oh, there's even a side quest here. Ah, new face! Wonderful! Revelio. Spin... Uh, spent witch's sporting needs, run by the admirable Albie Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on a number of broom enchantments. Don't mind if I just loot everything in front of them. Okay, let's equip some stuff. Okay. Look better. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Ooh. Disturb trade rats made you close? Is it by chance from the dragons? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. What else can you share about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. I'll have a look, thank you. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. What are we looking for today? 
Oh, they don't cost hardly anything. Well, nice doing better. business with you. Let's see. Second that item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. I think I give Moon Trimmer Broom. The lantern might be useful. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Cool. How did your passion for brooms begin? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do, oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why am I the right person for this? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. You took Madame Kagawa's class? Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me united. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Sounds worth a try, Mr. Weeks. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Sweet. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Hogsmeade and certain areas prohibit flying. Can't help uh. but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Tap. Uh, press tab, then press 3 to equip your broomstick on your tools roll. Tap. And 3. Okay. Here we go, fly all oh, cool. Uh, looks like the lantern's more or less just cosmetic. Although it's not nice, I suppose it probably won't turn on then.
Don't have too much of a problem. That's nice. Puff. Yes? Imelda Reyes? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Hmm. That's not what happened. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Begin. What sort of courses are these? Hold on, let's figure out Can you out tell me doing. more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humour you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again, got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Okay, let's do it. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Even if I remotely get it, I mean, that's pretty good for the person who just started. Did it! Oh, okay. Fly. Ah, stop lagging. Brilliant! Eh. Made it. Come on, a little more. Oh, missed some of them. Brilliant. What's the train for? Ah, oh, success! Sweet. Oh, I missed those. I think. Whoa! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! One minute and forty four seconds. What do you say about that? Ugh, that's not. You, you must have cheated, you. Ugh. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. All right. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. Mm -hmm. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. 
Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Turn to the podium to challenge others, racers, and advance your way through. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. Oh, so I'm second place. I don't know that there's any reason to get 100%. Although I could give it one more try, I suppose. This is rather fun! Whoa, they're a lot faster than I am. I'm missing a lot of them. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Ah, success! Yeah. Brilliant! You probably have to get perfect if I don't get it this time. Did it. I miss those. Oh. <laughs> Good, I've got this. Oh, that wasn't long. Good. Let's return to weeks. Hex really so sinister? Request. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope? Yes, it went very well. I was able to test, uh, to say record on my broom. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Who has doubted you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Can't wait to hear more. Goodbye. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates? Okay, let's change my helmet. Since that is better, I didn't realize. What are we looking for today? 
That item is of the highest quality. Okay. Can't buy a new room. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hey. Check the map. Let's go to this one. I like the broom. Pretty useful. As long as it doesn't lag too much, which it didn't do that very much, so that's pretty nice as well. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I think the only problem with it was I couldn't look up or down. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need, uh, you need Here you help found a bit of delivery? treasure in the forest. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Happy to help. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Let's hope the invisibility potions aren't invisible. That'd be kind of difficult delivering them. Let's see, world map. Okay, I'll worry about that one later. <laughs> That's kind of far away. Let's see here. Let us meet Sebastian and learn Confringo. What's below me? Let's open up map. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. It says that quite often. Revelio. It was an accident. Let us keep our heads about this. Oh, I'm, I'm truly sorry. I, I didn't mean. Uh, what am I looking for here? Oh, is it this right here? Oh, sweet, found one. <laughs> Serpentine Beast Window. Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it is actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary green man. <laughs> Over here. Sebastian, 
It's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Undercroft? This way! There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Hmm. Lumos. Oh. Oh, I've looked at this thing so many times. Uh. Okay, there we go. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the Rebellion. time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Hmm. Revelio. Oh, I will do it. Time to leave. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Hmm. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It does sound dangerous. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. All right. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Okay, I haven't done it this way. Oh, there's a lot. So space. This. Face. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of difficult. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. What does it do? All oh, the fireball. Maybe I actually want this and then this. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Confringo! Have a go at those candelabras. 
Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Blast and curse. Confringo fires a work blast. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Confringo. Well done. Everything. Explosions. Okay. That was pretty good. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade. Did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ramrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port everything? key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. I suppose I might as well tell him the rest. It has been very helpful. I'll tell you the truth. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages, Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Very cool. Like that we learned a new fire spell. The other one is good, especially with the upgrade, but it doesn't do well against some fury. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? 
I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. No need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Can't do anything. Bevelio. Okay. Let's check the map real quick. So, next up is the oh, the room of requirement. That's what it's called. Very nice. But that'll be for next time. Thank you for watching, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below about what you think of flying. I really enjoyed it, it's really cool. Thanks. Also if you'd like to check out my buddy's play, it's on Patreon, you can click the link down below. And thank you, and I will see you later.